Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions. Um, I'm going to record a quick video to show you how to um, install your LSP Actions into the brand new uh, Lightroom CC. This is um, a version of Lightroom that is designed to run alongside the original Lightroom, which is now called Lightroom Classic. Um, so when if you are on Creative Cloud, you are able to download Lightroom CC for free as part of your plan, and you can have both programs running together. Um, they will automatically sync um, any images edited in CC to um, you know your your other catalogs in your Lightroom Classic, which is what it is now called. Um, so you can have both programs running at the same time. Um, so I've just opened Lightroom CC kind of for the first time today. I've just installed this. This is October 2017. Um, I'm hoping there's you know the program is still very much in the baby stages. So I'm um, <clears throat> I'm thinking over the next few months to a year that we're going to see quite a lot of new features coming up into Lightroom CC. Okay, so the um, it's a much more simplified version of the program and it does look different. So don't be scared of it. Um, I'm going to click here, you see down the bottom here we have these kind of different views. So I'm going to click uh, the details so I can see the image in one and your editing panel is here. So in the uh, the classic Lightroom you have um, library mode and then you have develop mode. In CC it seems they have um, popped it all into one. But the question um, that I have and I know many will have is, is can you use presets, um, your LSP presets and other presets in Lightroom CC? Yes you can. Um, if you go onto Adobe forums lots of people kind of say no you can't, um, it's not possible but yes you can. So click here um, on the sliders, obviously you have clone and heal and all the other things, it's just kind of like Lightroom but a very different way of looking at it. So click here where you have your three slider bars <clears throat> and scroll all the way um, down to the bottom and you'll see right the way down here there's a little thing called presets so click on that um, and then you have three little dots click on that open the presets folder and that will open your um, oh it's opened it here so that will open your Lightroom presets um, folder for Lightroom CC and then all you need to do is locate your um, your previous LSP presets so I'm going to open up the uh, the LSP newborn, and oh, hang on. And I am simply going to so I'm just finding them on my other uh, screen, drag them over. So now we can see the LSP newborn preset workflow is in. I'm going to close this and close down CC. Um, it's important you close it down before reopening um, because the presets won't show until you um, until you open it up again. So now um, we should be able to do the exact same thing. Come down here to presets and you can see the LSP newborn preset workflow and you can start using your presets here. So for example <clears throat> you can, um, so excuse my throat, I have a real <clears throat> a real cough today and I know that's going to be annoying and I promise you I will re-record this video when I don't have a cough um, and especially when I've learned um, to use Lightroom CC a little bit more today, like I said, it's my first time opening it. So this is great. Um, on the original Lightroom, you could hover over a preset and you'd get a little thumbnail view in your navigator of what the uh, what the preset would look like here. You can actually literally just hover over the presets, um, which is really, really, really great. So that is how to um, how to use um, how to install your presets in the new Lightroom CC, and you can still use you can still use um, Lightroom Classic as well. Both photos will sync to the other, um, which is really really cool. So you can use both programs alongside each other. One of the great things about this program is it. Um, it seems to automatically back up to the cloud. Mine um, is backing up here right now. Um, you can see it's syncing um, around 10,000. It's still building <clears throat> how many photos it wants to sync, but it will automatically sync if you leave it running enough, and it will do that every time the program is on. It will be syncing in the background.